Hey guys, Renee and Casey here with Bargain Manor Store Store. And we got a big announcement. You guys already heard. You might have seen the news friends. You might have seen the Twitter, the Instagram, the Facebook, the YouTube. It's everywhere. The cast been talking about. This Tuesday, April 20th. What's back? Storage Wars. Storage Wars. Storage Wars is back at 9 p.m. on ADTV. TV. And in honor of that occasion, we're doing two things. We came back to our storefront. We're going to film one more video at the storefront. And why are we standing right in front of you? I just have to ask. Because sexy. <laughs> Nipply. <laughs> I think we should be in front of the other picture, right? Here we go. Casey. Do I look the same? This is how many years later? Like six years? Seven years. Sir. Seven years? Okay. <laughs> how much older do I look? Stop it. Don't be, be positive. So, April 20th, Storage Wars is back. And then also we just did a quick post because we just had the idea for the video. And we figured we'll give you a nice little fun day Sunday video. Oh, fun day Sunday. I love it. Used to be fun day Friday. Actually fun day every day if you buy stuff at the store. It's Thursday. It's Friday today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody's doing a lot of online gaming in the pandemic right now. So we got to get out of that. So uh, uh, yeah. So anyway, for today, it's Thursday. For the rest of the planet, it's Friday. Uh, we decided we put, did a quick post. And we decided to ask you, let you guys ask some questions. And we're gonna answer. But the post was only up for a couple hours, so some of you guys are probably missing out on this, but it was a last minute idea. Okay, did you already read the questions? Because I'm thinking, that's not fair, you already know what the questions are. Well, no, I definitely didn't read that. They just magically pasted in this paper forward by themselves. My little elf did that. Man, he's cheating. <laughs> anyway, Tuesday, April 20th. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button. Link it, share it with your friends. Let's answer some questions. Wait, before we answer the questions, I just want everybody to know that we still buy business inventories, complete estates, collections of any sort. Just so you know, we're still in business. Shouldn't it be collections of any sorts? Or is it collections of any sort? Or is it collection of any sort? I don't know, it's been wrong for 10 years. <laughs> collections? Because this is plural of any sort. Hmm. Collections of right. any sort. Yeah, a little bit less than a complete estate, unless it's a really high in estate. Business inventory is always, and collections definitely got money yeah. to spend. So, um, yeah, so we, we have a few questions. You guys ask us questions, and the questions can be storage wars related or just our business related. And then we're gonna sh shout out who it is. Now, sometimes if people ask the same questions, it's basically the first one I got to. <coughs> so, on YouTube, uh, Infinite, the Inf Infinite One, he asked, when can we see more comic book episodes on your channel? Oh, wow. Well, just so you know, we do have like 80,000 comic books that we never went through. They're in storage. Plus, we have those 10,000 silver. Actually, it's more than 10. Oh, that's probably about 10,000 silver age comic books we need to work. Plus, we have all that original comic book artwork we need to do. Right. And now, since we got that deal, we got all these old comic book cards from like the 50s and 60s. I think we got some 40 Superman stuff. That's Green Hornet and stuff like this. So... <coughs> If you guys been, yeah, if you've been following our channel, you know we're in the process of buying a warehouse. Also kind of watch Storage Wars. I mean, definitely watch Storage Wars. Because the show is actually following us on our adventure with that too. So uh, as the new warehouse gets set up, so right now, what is it, like April 17th or so, 18th? Um, the warehouse, we, if everything goes okay, our escrow should close at the NMA. And then we got to set up the studios. And we got to set up, we're going to build a mezzanine and pallet racking and stuff like this. So um, hopefully, I'm hoping that like sometimes late June, we're gonna start having a video every day. Yeah, isn't that exciting? It's gonna be cool. And there's gonna be two different types of videos. It's gonna be like, you know, going to auctions and unpacking and stuff like this. And then there's, we're also gonna set up like a studio, like a Jay Leno type of stuff. And uh, I don't think I've ever talked about this on the channel, actually. Not, yeah, I was, I was just thinking that. That's kind of inside information. Right? Yeah, we're not going to say about that yet. But you're going to stay tuned. It's going to be fun. It's going to be every morning you can wake up to a Bargain Hunters video just sharing our adventures and just share about the reselling business. So you will see a lot more comic book videos. Uh, the toy stuff is one of the first things we'll work on comics and toys. So probably June, July, August, sometimes there should stop being a lot of comic book stuff. And what we do, once we are running smoothly, we kind of mix it in. We'll have like, you know, today we do comic books and we do an unboxing. Then maybe we'll talk about a story or something like that, right? And sports cards. Yeah, sports cards, yeah. So we're actually thinking about doing a breaking channel. If you guys are sports cards watches and you want us to do a breaking channel, let us know. Yeah, definitely say something in the comments. All right, also from YouTube, Kevin Monroe. Uh, and I, I guess I made it confusing because a lot of people said like where do we send the question obviously on the, <laughs> on the social media platform but 
I guess that was obvious to me, but Mail not obvious to me. Mail it in to this address and send twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, we have a. Uh, we just talked to the same guy that uh, Daryl Sheets from Storage Wars uses for um, his communication network. Then it's top notch, so we should be able to receive smoke signals soon too. <laughs> and we'll I was wondering where you're going. <laughs> we'll have an expert for that. So, uh, all right, Kevin Monroe from YouTube asks. How many original actors will be on the show in the previous it showed you and Casey, Ivy, Brandy, and Kenny, anyone else? So guys, we can't talk too much what's happening with the show. You, you have to tune in and watch, but a lot of your favorite characters will be in the show, right? Yeah, and there's some exciting people too. Yeah, but there's even new characters, but they can't compete with us. So, but we'll, we'll see, That's, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Tune into the show. That's some exciting stuff coming. Let me tell you one thing right now. Buying storages with a pandemic is kind of hard because a lot of good stuff is being saved. But I think if we make it to a season 14 or season 15, once that oh, stuff yeah. goes and then, you know, people liquidate businesses and stuff like this, it's going to be unbelievable deals. I think that the market of resale is going to explode. There's going to be lots of opportunities for big buying. If you ever wanted to make money in this business, now's the time to watch our YouTube channel because some of the best years we ever had in this business is whenever there's an economical collapse or, re, I guess, restructure, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, readjusting. Yeah, so in 2010, we made so much money. It's ridiculous. Um, okay, Instagram. Matthew2109, 1982 is asking, what do you think has been your best buy on Storage Wars? I can answer that easily. What do you think is our best buy? Um... I would have to say maybe the Murano Glass one. I would say the video game one. Thank you, Tatiana. Ah, <laughs> the video game one, guys, by far. Now, that's on the show. We had better buys off the show. But the video game one, by far, I think we played that on a show at about $40,000. Now, there was so much stuff, we literally filmed the whole day on it. A lot of times an excavation will take two hours. You know, if it's a long one, three hours. That one, they set the whole day aside. I think we filmed three hours, went to lunch, came back, filmed another three hours. And still, there's a lot of stuff we didn't go out. Also, if you watch one of our friends, Sinistock, I just made a huge mistake. Um, from that same locker for the last four years. Okay, so Renee kept the books, stupid books that are like worthless, like random cookbooks and he threw away VHS tapes and I'm like of all storage units why would he throw away those VHS tapes we just got worn out I've been working for like 90 days yeah, and was store. Just like, eh, do you know how many books Tatiana Cheryl Dustin and I I don't packed? know what books they were I know yeah and a whole bunch of them were like why does he have this I know it was all the military books you pack well books. that's good but the rest of the books were well I didn't see those so you should yeah so he threw away you could have made like, an executive judgment I didn't know he threw them away. And then when I saw it in the dumpster, I was like, okay, it's just random VHS tapes. But Sinistucker, go to his channel, check it out. He found um, VHS tapes of really rare, what? H horror movies? Horror movies for 30, 40. He even found one for $300. Zombie, the first printing. There's a bunch of really good horror stuff. So he probably got like $1,000 worth of horror movies that we just put in the trash. If and anybody's gonna get it, I'm glad it was Sinistucker. Yeah, so it's it's all good, but uh, that came from that same video game locker. The video games we found on there was only probably about half that you actually saw in the show. We had a lot of systems we never showed in the show. We also had that Nintendo handheld system, which is a super rare system. I'm probably, I've been saying for the last three years, I'm going to make a video on it. I will make a video on it. I guess and you guys said that unit because you guys are gamers it's just money wise well well there's also the storage unit that i bought i think that one was pretty yeah. profitable <laughs> but uh i Still mean good money, outlook money wise the video game lock i think but the morana class was cool but we haven't even sold the morana class yeah, it's one of our storage units just because i'm not an expert in morana class so we really have to take some time to do a lot of research because you know morana class one piece is 50 and one that looks just like it is three thousand so um, and we saw that big chandelier. Well, and isn't that the one where I got the big crystals? I guess that's why I say that. So we did score a vote on that because the crystals. Was it the same unit, Murano? No, those were yeah. two different units. The Murano. No, no, no. No, yes, the Murano class is the one I bit against Mary. You know that Justin kid was trying to be tough. And remember, oh yeah, no, we got the big crystals. Yeah, yeah. No, you're. I'm think. I'm thinking of the yeah. Torrens unit with the antique ship and stuff. Yeah. And you got all the waterfall really crystal. Good. Oh. Yeah, so we were few. I think. I was on that episode too. Remember, we we loaded it out the truck, mm -hmm. and then Daniel was there yeah, too. Yeah, my dad was here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was yeah. A, so that was a good episode too. Yeah, well, I, actually, you know what? Now I forgot. I forgot about the big crystals. So somebody just offered us forty grand for the two crystals. And we're like, don't do it. Casey and Tanya won't let me sell. I'm like, yes, come back. No, come it's on. a blessing from God. Why would you sell it? Because it's forty thousand dollars. We sold like this eagle statue, and we regret it. it yeah, so cool. and well, we only sold that for twenty five hundred dollars. Did that come from the same deal? 
for us? No, it came from the I don't know, we American. buy so much stuff, but yeah. I would say, so, you know what, you're right. Now that I have the two crystals, the Murano, and there was a lot of other good stuff in there too. Um, It's a toss-up, but still, I think. Yeah, I think I win. No, it's so close, <laughs> I'm gonna go with the video game locker. And you know what, we converted more into the video game locker into money. A lot of the Murano stuff is sitting because we just haven't had time yet. Yeah. Okay, uh, still on Instagram, Kiyobi69, when you kick Dave Esther, Dave Esther in the butt. Um, that's never gonna happen, because I don't want to get sued. Yeah, no lawsuits on this? Yeah. Can't and actually, this. look, I like Dave in his own way, you know what, he's actually a really smart businessman. When you get to know him, he's okay. Um, he's pretty straight up to work with, so I don't have a problem in that way. He just lacks, and I tell him this all the time, he lacks in the social skills department sometimes. Yeah, he likes to go dark. Yeah, it's a, fast. But for overall, no apparent reason, he doesn't have to go that far. Yeah, but overall, he's an okay guy, so I, I, I would kick him in. But, but I don't yeah. do that anyway, I don't want to get sued. And in business, we actually respect him. Conman9009 is asking, um, Renee, is Casey going to be on with you? Yes. Can I say that? Yeah, you can say okay. that. Yes, I am going to be on season 13. So she's going to be in a few of the episodes. She's coming in, uh, yelling, buying. She just bought today. We filmed all day. I'm probably dirty. She bought a really crappy locker today. I know, I'm dirty. And, and we had to move stuff. So uh, I had to move it. Good job. Good job. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So and we didn't move enough heavy stuff from um, yeah. down the store. Like literally guys, the last 90 days we've been liquidating, the last 30 to 40 days working really hard. And then she's like, oh yeah, big side-by-side -side fridge, mattresses, dirty. Let's get that one. And then we miss out on a really other locket that supposedly is really good. We'll see when the episode airs. Yeah. But that's why you guys want to tune in April 20th, start being on that. Some crazy stuff happening this season. Okay. One more. Here's a, here's a couple more Instagram. Um, mlel325 when can we see it in the uk x that's a really good question because i don't know if we have the answer to that do you have the answer yeah so i mean oh. april 20th is the season premiere in the united states it seems historically it was always about six months later that the stuff hit the uk and um but i mean that's never guaranteed it could be two three months it could be six months it could be a year as long as uk picks it up but i know we have really high ratings it's one of our highest countries up there and uh, the people in the UK love it. So um, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be out there. Just stay tuned. I think it just has an A&E page for, for the UK. So check it out and uh, you'll see it. But it's definitely coming to the UK. All right, guys. So we're going to take a quick break because I have my lawyer coming. Just a question you ask. Why don't you kick Dave Hester in the butt? Because then I have to give my lawyer, have my lawyer. So I'm going to actually bring him on camera really quick. Give him some free advertising. And we got like three more. Or two more pages. So why don't we take a break in question? My lawyer pulled up, Bill Koska. So the most important thing in business, you want to have a good lawyer because they're going to fight for you guys and they get what you need to get. The bad part, which kills me every time, and here's a check for $29,000. <laughs> and that's not even the whole amount, that's just the second payment. So here you go. Thank you. Feel free Thank not you. to cash it. Thank you. Feel free not to cash it. <laughs> but um, anyway, if you guys need a good uh, lawyer in the San Diego, LA, or Southern California area, who can I call, Bill? Bill Koska, William K. Koska, attorney at law, uh, 5720 Oberlin Drive, uh, San Diego, 92121. Nobody cares about the address. Do you have a phone number? 619-518-6588. Uh, six, six eight, eight. You can reach me about 15 hours a day. So guys, lawyers are expensive. Expensive lawyer, but they make you a lot of money. Everything in life you get out of what you put into. I can vouch for him. Great lawyer. You guys check him out. Hopefully you don't have any legal troubles, but if you have business stuff, call Bill. Thanks, Renee. Thanks, Bill. Don't cash that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we're back. Our friend Bill just left. I gave him the check. Boom, he was out of here. No, I'm just kidding. He's dead. Actually, family, friends, really good lawyer. I mean, he's done several cases for us. This was one of the bigger cases, probably. Um, a lot of the other cases, basically, the way it happens, if you guys never had businesses, you have a problem, you bring a guy like Bill on, they bring a guy like Bill on, and then you settle it, so. And then you pay fees, and hopefully it all worked out, you know? But anyway, that was good. So let's ask some more questions here. Torch001 from Instagram is asking, is it staged? Torch. Yeah, no, right? Our store is 
perfect proof that it's not staged. Also watch our YouTube channel. So a lot of times, so that's a little bit, obviously it's television and we have to make a television show. So when you see me buy a really crappy locker, that's because there's nothing better there and we still have to buy something to make a show. Remember, every day we go out and film, it costs the production company at least thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. There's like 60 people working on a show with all the back end, the editors and stuff like this. So when we just go to a bunch of facilities, we only can do one facility a day. You got to pull licenses, all kinds of stuff. And you don't buy, well, then you have to make another show. And then obviously the company just lost thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000, you know, do that five, six times. So we have to buy stuff. So I guess that's a little bit more in real yeah, life. you've seen how we walk through our store. Everything in our store, about 98% all comes from storage. So but that proves it's not fake. Not even the store, just watch some of our YouTube videos. I mean, you, yeah. you, see, you, you see the stuff you that see, we buy. You get way better stuff than on camera. Yeah, Check out so, our eBay too. Yeah, and watch, look at our camera. eBay. All that's from deals Indian and storage too. units. And then also um, in real life, I'm more selective a little bit. Obviously, because I can go like in real life, I can go to five, six facilities in a day and see a lot more units. And also, probably some of the trash talking is played up. I mean, the feelings are there, but in real life, I'm more quiet. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm not even gonna waste your time. I could have a heart attack. <laughs> and uh, we're on the show. That obviously, it's like, hey, Renee, Daryl just called you fatty. So I'm like, all right, let me go say something to him. You know, let me call him baldy. So. <laughs> So that's the thing. Remember, it's still a reality television show. But if you're asking about the business side, it's very real. Actually, I think a lot of people think, oh, it's fake, it's played up. But those are people that just don't know the business or they don't know nothing about the reselling thing. It's actually the opposite. It's probably underplayed. <clears throat> if I were to put a show together where we just follow like every day, kind of with the YouTube channel, just really just go for the best stuff, then you would see a lot better stuff on there. Mm. You know, so, and everybody's in different levels of how involved they're in their business, you know. Some people are retired, things like that. But I mean, the business itself is real and it's a lot more real. You can make much more money than in Storage Wars. Yeah, and it's way more competitive in San Diego. Uh, Mertil Moss 9982, do you really hate Dave? He's not so bad, I think. Um, we answered that question earlier. Don't hate Dave, there's a mutual respect. He's actually a very smart businessman. Right. Right. So he just doesn't have the social skills, but he's all good. Uh, Instagram still. Allison Hubert, I want to see new episodes from Belgium. Please, haha, Renee, you're the best. Well, thank you, Allison. Uh, wow, so you watch in Belgium? Yeah, oh yeah, all over the world. Wow. Uh, That's really neat. I love Belgian fries. Every every 500 meters on the, on the um, free, we get Belgian fries with mayo. But. Um, we're gonna come visit you guys soon, probably next year. We're gonna make a trip to Europe. We'll see Brussels, show Tatiana of all of Europe. But um, yeah, you should be able to see it in Belgium as long as you have the AE network, so which will be the AE TV channel or history or bio. Or, you know, I know in Germany somebody told me it's airing on Pro Sieben now, which actually offered as our own show too. Uh, yeah, Pro Sieben, remember yeah. Galileo? Uh, there's an episode with us on Galileo, so if you speak German, look up. Uh, just type in Rene Nesota or Casey Nesota or Storage was and then on the TV show Galileo. So, but they offered us our own show too. So, but we couldn't because of Storage was obviously. Um, but yeah, it should be in Belgium. All right, now we're gonna go to some Facebook questions, and we have four different sites. We have uh, the store, which I forgot to post it on. Unfortunately, there's a lot of fans on there. My personal page, which. I hate it because like I can't keep it personal anymore and people always get mad at me because we're maxed out at the 5,000 friends and he's like, why don't you accept my request? I'm like, sorry dude, I'm like maxed out. Then we have a Renee and Soda fan page and we also have a Renee and Casey fan page. So um, people always ask why doesn't Casey have her own fan page uh, just for her because you get all the creeps. So that's yeah, just the truth. Yeah, but I've been thinking about doing an Instagram. Yeah, so she's she. We're gonna put us uh, Instagram page. Um, yeah, so just for season thirteen, I've decided to finally go public. Yeah, well, she you have your Twitter page, but like you get all the creepos, you know. I mean, there's just, some creepos. Oh yeah, you see Brandy's <laughs> posts. It's like it's I looked like, up on TikTok Storage Wars, and a, a video of my mom and dad came up. Creepos. Yeah, it's okay, yeah. but you, you know what? It's like, I just said I wanted to do it. You guys are discouraging me. Don't scare me now. It's all the guys that never really would talk to a woman in real life. Those are the guys that send you messages. Ah, oh, this is what I would do. Yeah, if if I would take a shower and get away from my video games, I would totally do it. Yes, I would. I would. I would. Okay, I gotta go. A Fortnite new release is coming out right now. <laughs> then they send like fifty heart emojis. Uh, Sending you my stupid. love. You know, it's me um, amor. <laughs> You know, I'm not a huge fan of Brandy, but it's funny because when people send her these mass messages, she just retweets them on her storyline <laughs> with their username and the messages they send in private. Oh, so that's, that's a good idea. Yeah, I we should do that too. That. That's great. Yeah. 
So, but anyway, so uh, so we answered that, right? Okay, so Facebook, uh, Jason During on Facebook wants to know, um, okay, so this is from all the different Facebook pages, and not just a few, obviously. Barry making an appearance. We can talk about that. I'm gonna let Renee answer it. Okay, I can tell you that season 13 is definitely different than season 12 and 11. I can also tell you that the average age goes way up, and the ac average sexiness goes way up. That's all I can say. You figure out the Sounds rest. Sounds like I'm on the episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo? Yeah. <laughs> no, okay, Alan Smith is asking, are you reopening the store in another location? I miss you guys. Aww. Well, we miss too, everybody Ellen. too, but unfortunately for right now, we're not gonna be doing another store. So with the pandemic and everything, we just don't know what we do. We've done this store for 10 years. Our daughter's 14 and a half. Um, two and a half years, she's probably off to college. So, you know, I told her I'll pay anywhere in the world as long as it's international. Um, I'm just <laughs> my dad used to tell me that all the time. I'm like, just fuck up. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, so you know, the next couple of years, we're gonna do a lot of our online business. Another reason why we're not doing the store, we're sitting at least on a million dollars worth of online stuff, at least. I mean, you watch our YouTube we videos. We have a lot of merchandise that we'll like really slow down once we got on storage wars, and we've just been stockpiling, stockpiling. Even with the store, because we just didn't have time. Yeah. The store was making so much money. It's like, why do I go home or go to the warehouse and list stuff on eBay? Yeah, we've just been so busy. So now we're gonna co try and concentrate on getting that wheel. Fine too. Yeah, get that caught up. You'll see probably next year this time. So April next year this time. You probably it depends how fast stuff yeah. sells. But you're probably going to see right now a store has 700 listings. We have 1300, but then we get busy yeah. again. But next year this time you probably will see 10 to 15 thousand listings on eBay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, so a long time ago when we first opened our store, so we were like eBay masters. Then we got the store. So masters. then we had eBay. Uh, Amazon, I <laughs> think, what's the name? Went eBay, Amazon, and then the store, and the store started getting bigger and bigger, and just started occupying my time, and then we got on storage wars, and then it just got crazy. So we were like trying to run four businesses simultaneously. I know, that's why I got all the gray hair. But um, we might do that, a- not for me. We might do a high-end collectible store, like baseball card store, you know, comic stuff. But if we do it, it's gonna only be in a high tourist area, like inside Universal Studios or inside of a casino. So it's not gonna be just in a shopping center. Oh, not in a shopping center? I thought maybe in a shopping center. The only way I would do it in a shopping center if we can actually buy the whole shopping center, have one store, rent out the rest of the store. That's the only way. Well, that's a really smart idea. Yeah, you know, they call me smarty. McNarty. So, um, Benjamin C. Jury is asking, which beach are you at? Because when we asked the question, I put the picture where we're at the beach with my crazy face. Oh, yeah, uh, we was were in Tory like, Bynes, Del right? Mar, yeah. No, it's Tory Bynes Beach. So well, that's Tory Del Pines is down, and then, you know, it's Tory Pines slash Del Mar. Yeah, so, but I think the beach is called Tory Pines. Aline Gilchrist, and all these are from Facebook. How long have you been together? How long have you been together? So somebody's from Jersey. Sorry, how long has you? How, sorry, how long has you better half put up with you? <laughs> All the best. Why do you think it's that? How do you know I see you putting up with me? That's right. How do you know? It's like you know. How long we've we been together? We've been married like sixteen years, right? Yeah, I think we've been together seventeen years. Something like that. I'm I in denial. Know. I You're drink denial. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been That's together. That's how you know we have a good marriage, right? Who's counting that? Or we've been busy working. A little too much. <laughs> Ladies, I'll be single next year. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I still haven't got the whole life insurance yet, so just give me some time. That's my two years. Wanna go to Desert? <laughs> hey, maybe I'm putting up with her. You guys ever think of that? I'm sexiness, okay? It could go both ways. So sexist. Alright, let's just move on. Sharon Claw from Facebook. Glad the show's back, but how much of the show is scripted and how much is real? Do the producers actually hide items in the units? Okay, so, none of it is scripted because nobody could fake being that much of a knucklehead. <laughs> okay, and also there is a script in there when you talk about the... Uh, um, oh, with what, the boxes in the background. Yeah, so when we do the interview bits, that stuff is scripted, but that's not, it's not necessarily script script. What it actually is, is that at the end of the, when we, when we filmed the episode, so we might have said something during the episode, but the camera never caught it, or we might have filmed something, uh, the audio was out, or like a pedestrian was over talking, or we have sometimes people at the auctions that sign a no release, so they don't want to be involved in the release, and what happens, we actually make the statement, but they walk across the camera, and because they didn't sign a release, so now we cannot use the bit. 
So then in the interview, Jared, they have us redo it. Also, you can tell, like, you know, so you can research this. There's a famous video, a well, famous to us video out there from Tom Beers out there. And he talks about how documentaries used to be where a narrator would narrate everything. Where he kind of switched it, where the cast, the talent, the people in it, they actually narrate. And part of the way that we are narrating stuff is uh, with the interview bits, with the interview chairs, we kind of lead you along the journey. So that adds your question right there. But no, I mean, producers do not put stuff in there. I wish they would, I make more money. Uh, you know, if any producers are watching, if you guys want to go ahead and do it, go ahead. But no, I mean, we, we do pay with our money. We clean out the lockers, so we work it, um, we sell it. So still the yeah, same thing. We hustle it all up. John Kimmy, how long have you guys been married? How did you meet? What's the story about that? We don't have enough time, but we just answered 16 years and Starbucks. She took one look at me. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's how it happened. That's the story. Now you know it, John. Nancy Fabian, is Casey German too? Does she cook good German food? No. <laughs> so, she is not German. Mexican American. Mexican Irish. Mexican Irish American. Right. I'm, I'm German American. Bean. And then, uh, so she's learning how to cook German food, not much, mainly schnitzel. Because yeah. whenever we say we're German food, we eat schnitzel. And then Tatiana's learning how to do it too. We do it together as a family. She knows how to make the cranberry. She knows how to make the cranberry sauce. That's not necessarily her, but that's <laughs> yeah, just cranberry sauce. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, the cranberry sauce, yeah. It's like damn it's good. But she knows how to make schnitzel and stuff, so, and we do we do it together as a fa family. The pandemic kind of brought us together and we just cook stuff, so. Yeah, we did that before the pandemic. Yeah, but I think we do it more with the pandemic because we just we haven't been eating out as much. So like, you know, there's only so much the same thing. So you start barbecuing and doing different things. Still on Facebook, Robert Arrowwood. You guys are awesome. Still, still missing your dad, Renee, LOL. <laughs> yeah. So um, I think on season 13, let's see with the pandemic and everything, my dad actually is supposed to come out to an episode again. Uh, he's in Vegas right now, uh, which is really good. Our level of stuff getting broken at Bargain Hunters really declined. Um, <laughs> And, but we'll see what happens. So he might he might make an appearance in season 13. We see. Uh, we definitely have a bunch of YouTube stuff we need to film. But and once we get the studio set up, my dad will be on YouTube all the time with us. Good old Gunter. Gunter. <laughs> Gunter the Conqueror. <laughs> Roger Whiting, do you still have a store? Last I saw, you were being pushed out from your lease. Uh, so we just talked about that a little bit earlier. We just got finished with moving the store. We were never pushed out of our lease. Obviously, we had lawyers take care of everything. But, so Fairfield bought the property, and I can't say what we settled for, but we had eight years left on, your lease, on our lease. We also had Goodwill on our lease. Any lawyer listening, they know what all that means. And uh, Fairfield took good care of us. So, you know, we made an agreement with them about almost two years ago with a contingency plan and everything got extended a year by the pandemic, which actually ended up working out well for us too, ended up working well for them. So we were never pushed out. Fairfield bought the property, they make an apartments. Yes, it's sad to see a chapter's closing, a chapter's changing in Poway, but we were lucky we had a long-term lease. Yeah, we got do business right so you get paid. That's why I tell you guys all the time, watch our YouTube channels, learn how to do stuff properly. If you had a lease, let's say you pay $10,000 a month, $120,000 a year, okay? and that's eight years left on your lease, that's 96 months. If you just walk away and leave it, the company can sue you for $960,000 unless they rent it to somebody else at that time. So when you have a lease, it goes the same way. You have to come up, you come up with an agreement or they, have, they would have had to wait. Like, so at the end, it was like seven years. But Fairfield took good care of us. There's nothing negative to say. We, we hit a jackpot. We did a really nice yeah, cash out. Blessings from God. Yeah, so, but that's because we do business the right way. Like people always tell me like, oh, I'm gonna cut corners here. I'm not gonna do this. It's a difference. You wanna do business the right way. You wanna be a man of your word, a woman of your word. You wanna, um, just wanna do stuff the right way, protect yourself and you'll make a lot more money in the long run. But Fairfield took care of us. I mean, the previous owner was kind of shady. They tried all kinds of stuff. That's why we actually had to get lawyers in. Um, but uh, once Fairfield took over and they, they sat down with us and, you know, we started getting into fighting. And Fairfield basically sat down with us. I, I mean, I, Dave, I don't want to say the last name. Uh, just, I don't, you know, I, I don't know if he wants to be on there or whatever. But the guy put the whole deal together. He's like, look, what does it take? What can we make? How can we work this out? And they were really cool. We sat down. We actually had lunch. And um, I don't know if we paid for it or they paid for it. They paid for it. Oh, they did? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he put it on. I was going to pay for it. He's like, no, nope, company credit card. I'm like, okay, perfect. They sat down. It's like, look, what is reasonable? You, you know this is not reasonable, but we also don't want to wait five years. What number would it take? And we put out a number, and he looked at it, and he was like, okay, well, can we do it like this with these terms? And we're like, yes, that would work. 
And then they came uh, came to us actually at the end. It's like, hey, we want you guys out like in three months earlier. What can we do? And we said, okay, we'll can be out earlier if we do this. And they're like, okay, cool, no problem. And then we worked really hard for 30 days huh. at the end because we wanted to make sure we we hit that time goal. We don't want to go back on our word. And the store is super perfect, prune swept. I mean, if you wanted to, like we have this store, and we showed you in some of the videos that's coming up, um, you, they're ready to rent out, except you have to vacuum, and that's about it. So, but no, Fairfield took really good care of us. We definitely weren't pushed out of our lease. It's just a business deal at the end of the day. You know, it's like the mafia says, it's just bees. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But Montgomery, can't wait for the new storage wars. When was it? The 20th? Yes, but the 20th, April 20th, ADTV, 9 p.m. 8 Central or something, right? Sounds jo good to me. Joseph Resick wrote, Mr. Show, will there be any fighting? Um, yes, I mean, I haven't told you about this yet, but actually, me and Daryl, we will have a sumo episode. A sumo episode. <laughs> we have a sumo episode. Daryl actually dresses up in a whole gear, and you know, he already has that old man extended hair trying to keep the hair. <laughs> it's going to be in a hair bun. And then, um, and you guys are wearing little thongs. No, so he's coming out getting all oiled up, and I don't show up. It's gonna be pretty funny. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say, but you, you definitely want to look for that. Uh, Bobby D, uh, how did you snack such a hot wife? I think you meant to say, how did you snack, snack such a hot man? Well, Bobby, it was really easy. So, what I used to do, um, see, you, you, everything is categorizing and putting the right things together, right? So, what I did, I was like, I'm single, I'm ready for a woman, you know. I'm ready for a woman. That sounds funny. I'm ready to mate. All I have to say is don't be shy. You never know what the girl might say. Yeah, but that's not what happened. So what I did, <laughs> let's just be honest about it, okay? That's, that's, hey. He's scary where he's going. Chris. It's season 13 of Storage Wars. I think we're going to put it out, okay? I can explain. He went to uh, Starbucks. He looked around and he said, where's the girl who has the worst vision? And there it was, her. She's looking and she says, can you read me the menu? I can't see it. <laughs> Well, that's what my dad always said, find a hot woman with bad vision. But that's not what happened. So I, I know how to really put right deals together. So like, I was ready for woman. So what I did, I found in LA, that was actually a John Candy fan club. And they were meeting <laughs> monthly. So I'm like, Pah! I went in there and there she was. And you know what? She, she took one look at me. She's like, that's the man I want. Perfect, right? Found it. <laughs> that is not a true story, folks. Just don't be shy, be confident and you know, if you're sexy, it doesn't help. I mean, it does help. It does help. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chris Woodward. But it's honestly, just be yourself. Don't be shy. Be a good guy. That's it. Chris Woodward, when are you going to have your own show? Actually, funny. So right before we re-signed for this storage, we actually were in the process of talking to two different production companies about kind of doing our spinoff, kind of doing what we're doing with our YouTube channel, but make it more professional. You know, we do our everything ourselves. So, um, Obviously, we resigned Storage Wars. As long as Storage Wars is going, most likely we'll be around. So, you know, that's going to go season 75. <laughs> we'll, we'll have a video. Hey, guys! Oh! Deet, deet, deet. Okay, season 75! <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. So, as long as Storage Wars keeps on coming, obviously, that's our family. We started here, so we'll, we'll keep on doing Storage Wars. Uh, we are working on our YouTube channel, we kind of, and then also what's nice about our YouTube channel, we kind of keep control, we can do it the way we want to. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see. Also, oh, it, by the way, I think the last couple of questions might have been on Twitter. Let's see. I forgot to write it. I don't know, somebody's questions on Twitter. Also, uh, Amanda Hooker wrote, going cray there, Renee. X, what's X? Is it a hug or kiss? Hug. Hug, X, okay. Going there, cray, Renee. Hug, hug. <laughs> but love you, Casey. Fabulous. Hug, hug. Hug, hug. <laughs> um, well, remember that question you guys asked earlier? Who's putting up with who? Who's going cray? Something to think about. Actually, not really. My daughter's turning 14 years old and like boys are calling the house and I'm not happy. I already am 14. Well, yeah, you just turned 14. You're about to be at 15. I don't care, boys are not going to be calling. It's been months. It's been months? Since well, my birthday. Maybe I'm still in denial. You ever think about that? Okay, that's why I'm going cray because boys are calling the house, they're emailing, they're DMing, they're discording, they're Instagramming. I say nay nay, okay? Mind your own business. <laughs> Nobody cares that you make the football team. Nobody cares. If you're calling us or you're sending us pictures of you in the basketball team or you like dancing or you just had an ice cream cone, nobody cares. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Have some class. Last question. Roy LaBerge. Hope we will see Casey. That's more of a statement. Yep, you will see Casey. You can see Casey on our YouTube channel, which is gonna really gonna start popping up. And Casey's definitely on season 13 of Storage Wars. Which comes back April 20th. 
Let us know in the comment section. Uh, we're going to do more of these Q&A soon, so we're going to start taking some of these questions. So, um, let us know in your comment sections what you guys thought. Also, last month we gave away almost $2,000 to some of our viewers with the America's Cardroom Venom Poker Series. They have another Venom coming up we at the end of the month. another one coming up. I'm super excited. I won $17,000 last time, but $2,000 I gave away to the users. You know, it's keep... awesome he gave that money away. <laughs> well, it was either give it to them or you. What about me? Yeah, I know. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not standing here we holding this choice. dang phone no, for you nothing. Just pay but I'm glad bill. he shared the love with everybody. And, um, you know, sometimes people say, you never give money away. There's actually a whole video where we pay out everybody. So, uh, mm -hmm. Shriker 20 hooked me out. Like, I think I sent him like a couple hundred dollars or so. Yeah. He was moderating. So, April 30th, we're going to go for it again. I mean, first prize is a million. Uh, it's usually a million, million and a half. And we're going to do the and same thing. And what place did you come in last time? 81 out of over 3,000 or what was it? Yeah, that? 81 out of like just under 3,800. Did you hear that? 81 out of 3,800. Which really sucks because I was 80 places away from a million and a half. I would have given away $150,000. But we still won $17,000, which was great. So if you watch him, you can win again, right? You're going to give money away again? We're going to give money away again. The way that usually works, we give away percentages and stuff during the live chat. So we give away 10% of what we win. And then we're gonna break that up into 100%, and so then we give like, you, you know. You said what well, we win, so you mean I get to keep some of the proceeds? Well, you own <laughs> you about. You heard it here. Good news, I'm gonna give you 10%. Bad news, you're 10%, we're giving to you guys. Love you guys.